now i'll be creating an edit option and for editing or contacts okay um let's edit this so how this edit is going to work means uh, for suppose after clicking on my edit button the text i mean whatever the contact is there that contact should be populated in our uh, text input right and then after populating if the user presses on add it will get added yeah let's go ahead and do that here the similar way i will be creating one more touchable opacity for my edit okay so let's have edit uh, be before and this edit item okay and i'll be passing id of my contact and then here the title name would be edit and the size is fine so i'm saving here so yeah while i press on it it should capture my id okay so let's have an edit item uh, function so here it is and then here it is edit item whenever i click on my edit item the item should be kind of um, captured right so let's click on this edit item so if i press on it it should give zero i think yeah it is giving zero uh, so it's getting captured now how we are going to populate those uh, that contact on our in our text inputs means we need to fetch that particular item con id's contact right we need to fetch that particular id's contact and then we have to populate it so how we are going to find that particular thing means let's uh, you know uh, with contacts contacts dot find um, if contact id is equal to equal to our id like um, if, yeah, uh, how we are going to find means contact we are taking out of contacts and contact id is equal to equal to id that means we found it actually and whatever ids with the same ids will be there let's store them in um, filtered filtered contact let's store them in filtered contact and then mm, let's update this particular things yeah like you know um, we have to update them here in this contact the name and number why because the values that are there here we are showing the values based on name contact and the name right so similarly similarly we have to update this particular set contact uh, with set contact we have to update this contact right this contact we have to update then those content will be shown on our uh, those content will be populated in our text inputs right so how means how we are going to do means set set contact inside the set contact name is filtered contact dot name filtered contact dot name and then number number is number is filtered contact dot number okay so this way we are setting things let's save it uh, now those should be populated here if i press on edit yeah those are being populated so it's great now whenever those get populated we wanted like if if I add if I, if I change something and if I add again two different two same names with different contacts got shared we don't want it to do those things right in those scenarios whenever I press on this edit whatever previous contact is there let's uh, let's delete that in that scenario how we can do is uh, can is
we can take it and we can put it here and then we we are just copy pasting the delete operation for deleting that particular item after it gets populated on our input boxes that's it so i'm saving it let's suppose i'm entering one one more contact and here for suppose if i press on this here it's get populated and if i create a new contact it's get, it's being created on the top yeah so with this we have created uh, this contacts app with uh, cred, um, cred operations like create uh, reading our data here um, updating or editing our data and then deleting so we have covered everything of a cred application and now in further videos i'll be creating a video in which our state will be managed with redux store okay instead of our local store and uh, if you like the content please subscribe to my channel